Honey, hey, welcome back, welcome back, welcome back. It is your girl, Miss Lita, and welcome back to Miss Lita. I hope you guys are having a fantastic day because you know your girl is definitely having one. All right, y'all, so let me tell you about this video that I am about to do. Now, I don't do too many commentary videos, but I am going to do one today because this is something that just kind of left me speechless and it was disturbing to me. Um, and so I will definitely go more in depth with my thoughts um, once I get into the video. But we are going to be talking about... Um, CJ So Cool's family and the situations that is going on at hand right now. And so I'm not going to give any spoilers. I am going to talk about this giveaway real quick. And then after that, I will give you guys my thoughts on um, some of the videos that I have seen on TikTok. And we will go from there in regards to my commentary and my thoughts um, in regards to what's going on. And um, I am going to remain neutral. All right, guys. So if you don't already know, let me go ahead and let you know. I will be doing a giveaway once I hit 10,000 subscribers. So let me give you the rules and regulations to this giveaway. First and foremost, you must be subscribed to me on all social media platforms. If you don't know what social media platforms I'm a part of, all you have to do is go to the about section of this YouTube page and you will find all social media platforms that I am a part of. Make sure you subscribe. I do check. So if I don't see that you're subscribed, I definitely can't enter you into this giveaway. Once you have done that, also make sure that you leave a comment. I want you to leave the comment into me down below. And you must have your bell notification on for each and every time that I drop another video. Again, all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to me on all social media platforms, which you can find in the about section. And make sure that you take the time to type in enter me down below in the comment section and then also make sure that you have your bell notifications turned on again i do check this will be a cash prize giveaway i have not came up with the exact amount just yet who knows how much it'll be but just know that i will be giving away some moolah some of that green baby so stay tuned okay because once we get closer to 10k i will let you guys know exactly how much money i will be giving away but until then let's get on to this video honey for now for now do not bring kamari up in my life so yeah. Go just come and fight me. Where you at? <clears throat> what, right, Girl, right. where you at? Where you at? Y'all feel like fighting tonight? Mm-hmm. Okay. Sure, I'm down. You feel like dragging. Is she? Oh, is I mean, is she? Why am I speaking? No, she's not, because she know better. She will get smacked up. By me. And by your mom. I mean, but if no, you she do, then... my mom, she won't do anything, but I don't care. Oh, shit. My bad. You I'm sorry. Kill the I would smack her up, too. Mm -mm. But that's, that's okay. why I'd be getting in trouble because it's like, it's like I know what my mom Do Nation like Kamari? Do you like Kamari? Yeah, but some. Yeah, but like, like, Ryan piece of dookie. I do like Kamar, but like sometimes, sometimes. Dragger. Dragger. Carnage. Down me. Zing. Height. Zing. Height. Size. Weight. Age does not matter. Did you not? Did didn't she not see the video while I was looking Kamari's butt? You did not see the video. Cause you big. You big. Is it on there? Mhm. Yeah, she go. See, I'm quick on my feet. I'm used to running from her. She coming. Anaya! <laughs> Anaya! <laughs> 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 Anaya! 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 You wanna see it? Yeah. Reverse. Go back. And like before my mom gets on any of us, I'd be like, guys, do your chores, clean this up, clean that up. 
Are they, they, they just be giving me nation too. She know better. My mom tells her every. Okay, so I never really say too much um, when it comes to commentary. I normally keep my thoughts and opinions to myself. But this right here was disturbing to me. I will say this, okay. Um, children will mimic your behavior as a parent. So you don't ever have to worry about if kids are listening to you because they will mimic you. And hopefully you are doing something in front of them that is going to be worth mimicking. At this point, I don't see anything that is going on that is worth being mimicked. Um, first and foremost, I want to say um, none of this should have been brought to the Internet. Absolutely none of it should have been brought to the Internet. All of this should have been handled behind the scenes. Um, that's where a lot of problems begin is by putting everything on display onto the Internet. Um, feeling the need to have to have someone to take your side or to be in agreement with you um, or having to make sure that you make your position clear for the Internet. Not everything is meant to be put on the internet not everything is meant to be put on youtube and a video created about it um so i think we need to be a little bit more selective with what we actually post as far as content although we definitely want to you know address some things make sure it is something that does not have anything to do with kids because that's always a sensitive topic. And at the end of the day, your kids are still going to have to see this later on down the line. And is this going to be something that you're proud of? Now, my first thing is that I don't agree with is CJ was the first one to bring this to the Internet. OK, I don't agree with that. Now, one thing that... um I definitely don't agree with is the amount of time that this gentleman spends on the video games and he does not take up the time with his kids. Um, you know, I did watch Kamari and Nike's video and regards to the child support payment. And she said that, you know, he couldn't even make the payment right then because he was in the middle of the game. Um, I understand the game is a way for men to relax and for them to, um, you know, simply just unwind and to interact with other men. However, it should not take away from your responsibilities and the things that you have to do. The game is not more important than your family. It should never be above your family. Um, that game is not something that needs your attention, that um, that needs you as a person, as a human being. That's The game is not something that needs to be nurtured and shown that they're loved. So what I'm saying is, here it is. Your daughter, CJ, is already fighting for your attention, she feels like because of the other kids that are within your home that live with you, who see you on a daily basis. But she's fighting for your attention from them. And not only that, with this video game, your priorities seem to be a little bit out of whack. Um, and the only thing that I would really say is you, you need to reevaluate your priorities and um, make some rearrangements because your child should be at the top of the list before any video game or anything else that goes on. Being that your child is not there with you 24-7, when she does come, the time that you spend with her 
should be even more memorable than anything in this world. You have to realize that raising a daughter, she is looking at you in regards to how the gentleman in her life are going to treat her. And is the example that you're putting before her, is that something that you really and truly think that she deserves? Um, that's the only thing that I can say in that regards. And again, um, it's definitely not something that should have been placed on the Internet. Now, it has become like a huge tug of war type thing between your two baby mamas. And it should have never even gotten to that point. It should have never been on the Internet. So um, I would encourage you, CJ, to not put family issues or family drama onto the Internet. Um, all it does is it heightens what the T channels have to say about you. And um, this right here is pertaining to the kids. So it, it's just not you who or who is in the the T pages is the kids as well. And so that definitely needs to be reevaluated because you do not want to to have a constant memory of your wrongdoings in front of your kids. Again, your children are going to exemplify the behavior that you put before them. Okay? So one of the main things that um bother me is the fact that royalty had made a comment that you know um kamari's behavior is something that is less than desirable within her home um her daddy is right there so you sitting there telling her mom in regards to her behavior but her daddy is right there her daddy should be disciplining her and handling and dealing with the situation instead of being on the video game. So it seems as if you're trying to say that Nike's behavior as a parent is minuscule because here it is. This is how this child acts every time that she comes. However, her father is sitting right there. It should not be any issues in regards to her behavior because he's supposed to be a man and handle his child and deal with any situation that comes when pertaining to his child. It should never be something that you feel the need that you have to address with the mother because the father is sitting right there and he ought to be able to handle his child and take care of his business as a father and put his child in her place. All you should have to do is say, hey, your daughter did X, Y, Z. Can you go back and reevaluate the situation? Talk to her, discipline her, show her some consequences for her actions or whatever. But the father is not doing that. The mom is miles away. Yet the father is sitting right there, either playing a video game or creating TikToks. TikToks don't raise your kids, okay? You do. So what is more important, doing TikToks and YouTube or actually being a parent to your child and disciplining them and letting them know right from wrong? That's the only thing I can say about that. Now, I don't know who recorded the argument or the disagreement between royalty and CJ in regards to him sending $300 to um, the TikTok lady. Um, that's not my business. And so the only thing that I will say is. Um, it could have been a, a way for. Kamari to explain to her mom how sometimes the situation between royalty and CJ can create a hostile environment for her when she's there. And um, and then 
it could also be her way of explaining to her mom why she doesn't like to go out there and be with her dad on occasions because these are the situations that um she she deals with or she experiences that child should not be privy to the conversation that royalty and cj are having in regards to him sending money to a female to shake her behind that should be something that should be handled behind closed doors and out of the presence of these kids again the same behavior that you put on display in front of your children, CJ, especially your girls, is going to be the same behavior that they are going to feel later on down the line when they're dating is acceptable because their father did it. Leon is going to feel that it is acceptable to pay a woman $300 to shake her behind because you did it. And who's going to be able to tell him he's wrong because you did it to his mom. He's only going to exemplify the behavior that you are exhibiting in front of him. These young women are going to take on the same demeanor and response of how you are treating their mother. So you need to think about the things that you do and you guys definitely do not need to be having these discussions in front of these kids. Um, and I could hear in the background where, um, I think they said one of the kids was actually on CJ's TikTok and had went through the messages and told the mom. OK. Um, of course, they should always tell mom, you know, what's going on, but he should have never had that crap on his phone to begin with. And he knows that he's given his phone to his kids for them to look through like. Get for real. You you just want to get yourself caught up. And then you wonder why this young lady doesn't want to get married. That's all I can say. At this point, if I was Nike, I wouldn't want my child to be out there, period. Because here it is. There are a multitude of videos that are on TikTok um, where Jalea is talking about smacking Kamari and um, her little friend is talking about that she would have um, smacked her up and down and everything else. These kids shouldn't be having this discussion. It's no way in the world that these kids should be involved in grown folks business. But when you or more of a friend than a parent to your kids, again, you find it acceptable for them to entertain any conversation that you have. And as a mother and as a woman, as soon as I seen that my child had put TikTok videos pertaining to her step sibling, that shit would have been down. It would have been taken down immediately, but it's still up there. As if you're saying, I don't give two flips about this child. And why should my kids give a flip about her? So I'm going to leave these videos up. There is no way in the world as a parent, I would allow my child to leave those videos up. And I would make it abundantly clear that it would be consequences and repercussions if anything of that magnitude was to happen again. That's not acceptable. It's not acceptable at all. It's not. So then let's move on. Okay. Let, as a parent, I can definitely see why Nike 
would not want her daughter out there again because look of look at the behavior that is going on right now these kids are mimicking the behavior of the parents and this war that is going on backwards and forwards on youtube the kids are simply taking a page from their playbook at some point someone has to be an adult and say you know what this is not for YouTube. This is not to be a laughing matter. This is not a joke. This is not a game. And let's stop with these videos and actually have a phone conversation. Or you guys fly down here or I fly down there. Let's have a conversation. Address the issues. Put everything on the table before this child and work out this situation. Period. At some point, someone in this family, in this relationship, has to be an adult and put forth a good example for these kids. Everything is not meant for the Internet. This is something these kids got to go back and look at later on down the line. Not only was it something that they were already dealing with behind the scenes, now it's brought to the forefront because you guys decided to make it public. And royalty definitely didn't hold back her feelings in regards to how she felt about Kamari's behavior. And it's like she's taking shots. But damn, CJ is sitting right there and he's the daddy. So you need to be talking about his discipline as a father and getting him all the way together before you even decide to take any type of shots and slugs at Nike. That just doesn't make any sense. The father is sitting right there. The father is in the home. It's no way you should be saying, oh, I'm having behavioral problems from this child. And the father is there. He should be disciplining his child. So at this point, I really don't see where anyone is right. Because none of this should be brought to the Internet. None of this should have been addressed on the Internet. None of this should have taken place before these kids. Absolutely none of it. Absolutely none of it. These kids should not be on TikTok talking about they want to smack this girl and everything else. They shouldn't be on there cussing and, and all of this. They might cuss behind my back. But guess what? As a parent, they dang sure wouldn't be cussing in front of my face. I'm the adult. And if I cuss, then that's on me. But you're a child and you're going to stay in a child's place and you definitely will not be cussing on any TikTok video or anything else because I don't play that. What you do behind my back, I can't do anything about. But baby, what you do in front of me and I have knowledge of, oh, yeah, we're going to address and we're going to handle and make sure we deal with the situation in hand. But now if it's something that's done behind my back, I can't do anything about that. However... This is something that was placed on the internet, on a TikTok, and it's still up. And it hasn't been removed. It hasn't been removed. So while you sitting there questioning Nike's parenting, you need to question your own. You really need to question your own. Because you are allowing your child to get onto the internet and talk about a sibling a step sibling who they've been raised with and you think that's okay. You have to think it's okay because the video is still up. It would have been removed. So again, you started talking about Nike and I understand you trying to take up for your man and everything, but baby girl, you can't fight his battles for him. Some of them, you're going to have to let him fight on his own. You can put on a united front all you want to, but you can't fight every battle for CJ. 
CJ at some point has to be a man and stand up and take care of his own problems and his own issues instead of letting other people handle and deal with his situations. Period. So I would love to give CJ a challenge. And my challenge would be to do away with the game for six months and actually take time to get to know your kids. And if Kamari was to come out there, take the time to get to know your child. Ask her questions. Find out about your child. You should have an open line of communication with your child and be able to know information about your child like the back of your hand. You ought to be able to know when your child is lying to you and when your child is telling the truth. Because if you have taken up that time with your child, baby, they will have tales and you'll know right off the bat when they lying. And you can tell them to their face, mm mm, mm mm, no, you're lying. You're lying. I know you're lying. Because when you start lying, you do X, Y, Z. Sometimes you might not even want to tell them what they do because then they'll try to change it up on you. But let them know that you can't pull the wool over mom and dad's eyes. But you have to come up off of that game long enough in order to be able to tell when your child is lying. You have to know your child in order to be able to tell when your child is lying. You should be working with Nike to get rid of some of the behaviors that you find questionable as a parent that this child is exhibiting. Instead of saying that this child is over here trying to straddle the fence and play both sides of the fence. If there is an open line of communication with both of these parents and both of these parents are active in this child's life and actually taking a role in this child's life, then there's nowhere in the world that that child would be able to straddle the fence. But somewhere it's a break in communication and it needs to be handled and it needs to be handled immediately. So that way this child can't straddle the fence. So one last thing I would like to say is royalty. I know you made it um, clear that you felt like Nike still had a thing for CJ. But she did make a valid point that you have to be observant of and you can't close a blind eye to. If here it is, you left out of the home for a month. Why was Nike the first person that he called? Why was Nike in that home if he didn't still have some type of feelings for her? Because he asked her on a video, would she consider moving down there with him and being in a roommate type situation? Like really, how long do you think that roommate situation would have lasted? And I really only think he said roommate situation because he know you would see the video at some point and he tried to make it sound good. But it, it's, it's some type of love, some type of relationship, because here it is when shit hits the fan for this man. She's the first person that he's still running to. And Nike, baby, all I can tell you is if that door is closed, then leave it closed and stop being there for him when it comes to situations like that. You have to, at some point, let him grow up and become a man and deal with his own situations. You can be a friend for him, but you can't run to his aid every time it's as if he can't handle or deal with situations by himself he has to have someone there with him he can't be alone and he said that before that he can't be alone so it's some underlying issue right there in regards to why he can't be alone and so although 
he does run to you, Nike, at some point you have to close that door and let him know that he can't keep running to you. You have to at some point. Because as long as you have that door open for him, each time that he has a problem, he's going to run right through that door to you because he knows that you'll be there for him. And sometimes it it's not that the person still has feelings for you. It's simply the fact that it's a familiar face. It's a familiar person. It's something that they have endured before. And they're used to it. And they know what they're going to get with that person. So they don't want to leave that. Well, guys, this is all that I have to say about this topic. I hope that my thoughts and opinions were as biased as I possibly can make them. There are some things that I just felt like was just flat out wrong. And so I interjected my opinion versus my um, my uh, commentary. And, you know, I apologize. Um, I don't ever want anyone to think that I feel like, oh, my opinion is right and you should take my opinion. No, I'm willing to listen to everybody's opinion. So please, if there's something that you didn't agree with that I said, by all means, put it down in the comment section below. Let a sister know because, baby, we'll talk about it. I want to hear your opinion. I want to talk to you, engage with you, and we figure it out from there. So, um, again, leave a comment. Well, as always, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. And I just want to thank you for taking the time to come and spend a little moment with your girl, Miss Lita. So until next time, again, I'm your girl, Miss Lita, and I'm out this thing. Peace, honey.